Hello everyone, welcome to my channel again. So in this video, we are going to discuss class 7th NCRT chapter 2 fractions and decimals exercise 2.1. So I'm going to give you a complete explanation about exercise 2.1. So let's have a look. Here you can see exercise 2.1. Okay, uh, about fractions, uh, basically I have already made a video like what are fractions, what are its types and how to solve uh, addition and subtraction and all. So I'll share the link related to that video in the description box. You may have a look over there. So for clearing your concepts related to fractions, you can watch that video. Okay, so let's switch to exercise 2.1 now. So question number one is solve. So we have to find the addition and subtraction of fractions over here. So I'll quickly tell how to do. Otherwise, you can refer that video of mine for addition and subtraction of fractions. So let's have a look how we can add both, add the fractions and subtract the fractions. So for addition of fraction or subtraction of fraction, what we have to do, first of all, we'll check the denominator. So if we'll see the first part. It's written two. So any number we can write in the fraction like this. So if we will write the denominator one, that is two only, right? Two upon one is two only. So we can write this two as two upon one. So now we are having two upon one minus three upon five. So if you check the denominator here, it is one and here it is five. So the denominators are not same. So when the denominators are different, we take the LCM. So LCM of one and five is five. So here the LCM is five. Or another way is like when you got the LCM now, what you can do now, uh, in this case, you, you have to make the denominators 5 in both the fractions. So 2 upon 1 is the first fraction. How we can make its denominator 5? By multiplying it with number 5. Make sure you are multiplying numerator as well. So this would be your 10 upon 5, right? Now right side is minus 3 upon 5. Already the denominator is 5 over here. So we'll not do anything over here. This would remain same. Now, if you check the denominators are same, so we can simply subtract them, subtract the numerators basically and the denominator would remain same. So 10 minus 3 is 7 and 7 upon 5 would be the answer of this first part. Now, similarly, second part 4, 4 we can write as 4 upon 1. So we have to make this 4 upon 1 the denominator as 8 because the another fraction denominator is 8. So what we'll do, we'll multiply it with 8 here. So when, when we will multiply this fraction with 8, we'll get 32 upon 8 basically, right? So this would be like this, 32 upon 8 plus 7 upon 8. And now you have to simply add the numerators because the denominator is same over here. And that would give you the result as 39 upon 8. This is about second part. Okay, let's switch to the third part now. Let me quickly erase it. Okay, third part we will see. 3 by 5 plus 2 by 7, you have to add. Again, they are unlike fractions because the denominator is different. Now we will see LCM of 5 and 7. So if you check, 5 is coming, like 5 is a prime number. 5 can be divisible by itself. Similarly, 7 is also a prime number. So when two prime numbers are occurring, so we just multiply them. That would be the fraction. So 5 and 7 ka LCM. Sorry, that would be the LCM. So 5 and 7 ka LCM would be 35. So what we'll do, we'll make the denominator for both the fractions as 35. So how we can do so? 3 by 5, 4, we can multiply with 7. And that would give us the fraction as 35. Uh, like fraction with denominator 35. And 2 by 7 fraction, we can multiply with 5. So in this way, we will get the denominator as 35 in both the cases. So is wale ko apko isse multiply karna hai, is wale ko apko isse multiply karna hai. This is the way you will, you are going to do over here. Now, after this step, I am writing over here. 3 7s are 21 and 5 7s are 35 plus 5 2s are 10 and 5 7s are 35. Now, we will simply add the numerators because the denominator is same. So 21 plus 10 is 31 upon 35 would be the answer of this third part. Let's switch to the next part, fourth part. 9 by 11 minus 4 by 15. Quickly tell me the LCM of it. What we'll do, what LCM we will get. All right, 11 is a prime number, right? And 15, we can say 5, 3 is a 15 and 11 is a prime number. So 11 can be divisible by itself. So we are having three different numbers. So the LCM would be 11 
multiplied by 15 right so now we understood that we have to make this denominator okay so how much it is basically what we can do first of all we'll multiply later first of all what we'll do we'll make the denominator as 11 multiplied by 15 so 11 is already here so we'll just multiply it with 15 and on the right side 15 is already here so we are missing with this so we'll multiply it with 11. now the denominator is same of both the fractions now 15 nines are you will do and 11 15 are you will do so quickly tell me the answer of both yes it would be 15 nines are would be your 135 and 15 11 is 165 now 4 11 is 44 and 15 11 is 165. Now you can check out the denominators are same over here. They are like fractions. So we'll simply subtract the numerators because we are having subtraction sign in middle. So what we will do 135 minus 44 upon 165. So when you will subtract both, you will get the answer as 91 upon 165 so this would be the answer of this fourth part let's switch to the ne next part now the fifth part same way you have to take the lcm of 10 5 and 2 quickly tell the lcm of 10 5 and 2 now let's see what would be the lcm 10 5 2 so we'll divide with 2 2 5 are 10 5 is not divisible it would remain same and 2 1 the 2 now we can say 5, say we can divide over here, 5 and the 5 and then 1. So when you will get all 1, that means the LCM is done. So we will just multiply these numbers, 2, 5 is 10 and that is the LCM. So what we will do in this case, we will make the denominator as 10 in all the three fractions. So the first fraction is already 7 by 10. Next fraction, how we can make the denominator as 10? If we multiply this 5 with 2, we would be able to make the denominator as 10. But make sure you are multiplying the numerator as well. Now 3 by 2. So we'll multiply with 5. Then only it would give us 10. So this way we are able to make the uh, denominator as 10 over here. The same denominator uh, because the LCM is coming as 10. So first of all you will find the LCM and then you will do like this. So it would be 7 upon 10 plus 4 upon 10 plus 15 upon 10. Now if denominators are same that means they are like fractions. So we'll simply add the numerators. And when we will simply add the numerators, how much we'll, we are going to get? It would be 26. So 26 upon 10 would be the answer of this question. Now let's move to the next part, sixth part. Sixth part, may you can see the mixed fractions are given. So whenever you are having mixed fractions, first of all, you have to convert it into improper fraction. So improper fraction may how we can convert this whole number we will multiply with numerator, sorry with denominator. So this whole number is 2 and the denominator is 3. So 2, 3 is a 6. Ab jo bhi answer aya, that answer we will add in this numerator. So 6 plus 2, 8. This is the answer of the numerator of a improper fraction now. So the bara hai bata hu, karna kya hai. Jo whole number likha hai, usko denominator se multiply karenge. Jo answer aayega, usko numerator mein add karenge. So this is coming. A jo denominator hai, that would remain same in denominator. Now same way we will do the next one. 3 to the 6 or 6 plus 1 is 7. No, 7 upon 2. So now we have converted this mixed fraction into improper fraction. So here again, they are unlike fractions because the denominator is different. So our next step would be make the denominator same. So the LCM of 3 and 2, LCM of 3 and 2 is 6, right? So we are going to make the denominator as 6 now. We are going to multiply it with 2 and the next fraction by 3. Only in that case, we are going to get the same denominator 6. Now 8 to the 16, 3 to the 6, plus 7, 3 is a 21, 2, 3 is a 6. Now 16 plus 21, same step. We are going to apply here. That would be 37 upon 6. Okay. Now, the point is the question was given in the form of mixed fraction. So, the answer should also be in the form of mixed fraction, right? So, how we can do so? We'll just simply divide this 37 from 6, 6, 6 of 36, one remainder. So, how we write the mixed fraction form? 
quotient remainder would be the numerator and divisor would be the denominator quotient is the whole number so in this case quotient is 6 remainder is 1 divisor is 6 so this would be the mixed fraction of this part okay six part so last part of this question quickly solve it by your own now be quick first convert into improper fraction then you have to check out the denominator whether it is same or different if it is different you have to make it same by taking lcm and after making the fractions in the form of like terms then you have to simply subtract them quickly do Quickly, two is a sixteen plus one seventeen by two minus three is a twenty four plus five twenty nine by eight. Denominators are different, so LCM of two and eight we will see two one is a two, two four is a eight, and four would be divisible by four. You can you can do like this as well, and you can take four also. So the LCM would be two multiplied by two multiplied by two that is eight. so we have to make the denominator as 8 in this case now so we'll just multiply the first fraction as 4 and the next fraction would remain same because the denominator is 8 only so 17 4 is a 68 2 4 is a 8 minus 29 by 8 now we can simply subtract both because the denominator is same in this case so when you will subtract both you will get the answer as 39 upon 8 now what you have to do because the question was given in the form of mixed fraction so we are going to convert this fraction into mixed fractional form so we'll just divide 39 with a divisor 8 so you may check on the left side 8 for the 32 7 is coming here so question is 4 question is 4 remainder is 7 and the divisor is 8 so this would be the answer of this part So I hope this question number one is clear. Now we will switch to the question number two. Number two is arrange the following in descending order. So descending means बड़े से छोटा, बड़े नंबर से छोटे की तरफ जाना है. So in this first part, how we are going to check this descending order? Basically, we have to make the fractions in a like fractional form basically so if you check the denominators of the three fractions uh, given over here the denominator is different so our first step would be make the denominator same because if the denominator would be same then we just have to check out the numerator part only so let's take the lcm as i told you earlier as well how we can make the denominator same by making lcm by taking lcm okay so let's take the lcm of 9 3 and 21 So when we will take the LCM of nine three twenty one, we have to divide by three. Three three is a nine. Three one is a three, and three seven is a twenty one. Now again we will divide by three. Three one is a three one. Seven is not divisible. Now again seven one one one. So one 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 is coming. That means the LCM would be three multiply by three multiply by seven. so and that is giving us the answer as 63 so that means we have to make the denominator of all the fractions all the three fractions which is given given in this first part as 63 so how we can make so the first fraction we can see it's 9 denominator is 9 so how we can make it 63 by multiplying it with 7 right so first fraction ko to we will multiply with 7 how much it would be 14 upon 63 Second fraction को by which number we have to multiply? Three अच्छा आप LCM से देखो three हमारा लिखा हुआ है already तो three को छोड़के क्या बच गया ये तो three seven तो twenty one तो हमें इस second fraction को twenty one से multiply करना है okay I'm writing like this you write properly two by three multiply by twenty one so it would give you the answer as forty two upon sixty three now the third fraction Okay, so third fraction is eight upon twenty one. So by which number we will multiply here twenty one? So ये हमें दिया हुआ है बचा क्या three? We will multiply with three to make the denominator as sixty three. So this would give us twenty four upon sixty three. अब तीनों के denominator sixty three हो गए. अब simply numerator check कर सकते हैं कौन सा बढ़ाए सकते हैं. This one is at the first number, then this one at the second number, and this one at the third number. तो इसका मतलब ये जो टू बाय थ्री सेंटर वाला सबसे बड़ा है तो सेंटर वाला वो टू बाय थ्री दिस इज ग्रेटर फिर लास्ट वाला 
दैट इज एट बाय ट्वेंटी वन और फिर फर्स्ट वाला दैट इज टू बाय नाइन सो दिस वे वी कैन अरेन्ज द फ्रैक्शन इन डिसेंडिंग ऑर्डर और असेंडिंग ऑर्डर इफ इफ द क्वेश्चन वुड आस्क असेंडिंग ऑर्डर तो छोटे से बड़ा लिखना था आपको ठीक है सो द स्टेप्स of converting uh, or checking the fractions in descending order is like you have to convert the fraction into like fraction form and then just observe the numerator part okay, let's do the second part now quickly solve it by your own the denominators are different make the denominator same by taking lcm okay, so let's see the lcm of 5 7 and 10 now So we'll just divide with two, five and seven not divisible. Two five is a ten. Okay. Now we can say it's divisible by five, and then it's divisible by seven. Okay. So two five is a ten, and ten seven is a seventy. So we have to make the denominator as seventy now. So the first fraction, how we can make the denominator seventy? We have to multiply it with fourteen. You may check here as well. Five is already written. The remaining parts are two and seven. That is fourteen. So we'll multiply it with fourteen. So when you will multiply by fourteen, you will get fourteen upon seventy. Now the next fraction, seven is written. Seven is written. The remaining is ten. So we'll multiply the next fraction with ten. So it would be thirty upon seventy. Then the next fraction, seven upon ten. So ten is given. So we are having this part five to the ten seven is remaining. So we'll multiply it with seven, and this would give us forty nine upon seventy. So now you can easily tell this is the topmost, then this one, and then this one. So the last fraction was seven by ten. This is the bigger one. Then next second part means the middle fraction three upon seven, and then the first fraction that is one upon five. so this is the answer of the second question i hope uh, the two questions of this exercise are clear if still you are having doubt so you may ask me by writing in the comment box so let's switch to the next question now all right next question in a magic square so they are giving a square over here and you have to check out is it a magic square or not so what condition they are giving for a magic square let's see The sum of the numbers in each row. Rows are like this. They are uh, like these three are rows, and in each column they are columns. Rows are horizontally, columns are vertically, and along the diagonal. Diagonal is this, this one, as well as this one. Two diagonals we are having. Okay. So now what they are saying, the sum of the numbers means numbers जो भी हर एक row में है मतलब ये वाला ये वाला और ये वाला first row में इनका सम सम मीन्स एडिशन ऑफ दीज थ्री या फिर कॉलम में या फिर डायगनल में सबका सेम आना चाहिए अगर सेम आ रहा है दैट मीन्स इट्स अ मैजिक स्क्वायर सो लेट्स सी पहली रो देख लेते हैं हम फिर से द फर्स्ट रो फोर बाई इलेवन प्लस नाइन बाई इलेवन प्लस टू बाई इलेवन ओके यहाँ पर आपको एल्सियम लेने की जरूरत नहीं है बिकॉज द डिनोमिनेटर इज सेम दे आर लाइक फ्रैक्शन सो यूल जस्ट सिंपली एट द नोमिनेटर सो फोर प्लस नाइन इज थर्टीन प्लस टू इज फिफ्टीन सो दिस इज फिफ्टीन अपॉन इलेवन Let's see the row two. Three upon eleven plus five upon eleven plus seven upon eleven. So three plus five eight. Eight plus seven fifteen. Fifteen upon eleven again. The last row is eight plus one nine plus six fifteen again. So rows ka sum to same aara hai. Let's see the columns this time. Okay. So rows are same. Now we'll check the columns part. Means four by eleven plus three by eleven plus eight by eleven. So four plus three seven plus eight fifteen. Fifteen by eleven. Second column we will see. Nine plus five fourteen plus one fifteen. So it would be fifteen by eleven again. Last column two plus seven nine plus six fifteen. So columns का भी sum बिल्कुल same आ रहा है. That is fifteen upon eleven. I'll write this part again. Just a second. Okay. Now we will see the diagonals over here. Three diagonals are remaining. Sorry, two diagonals are remaining. So this would be a diagonal. I'm just circling them. These three you have to add. So four by eleven plus five by eleven. So four four plus five nine nine by eleven plus six by eleven nine plus six fifteen. So this is giving us the answer is fifteen by eleven again. Now let's add this diagonal means this one, this one, and this one. So 
8 plus 5, 13 plus 2, 15. So this is also giving us the answer as 15 upon 11. So you are checking here the sum of all the rows, all the columns, as well as all the diagonals is same, that is 15 upon 11. That's why, yes, it's a magic square. So you will write, yes, it's a magic square and you will show the addition of all, like row one addition, row two, row three, column one, column two, like this, you have to show addition of all. If And then you will write as the sum of each row, each column and along the diagonal is same, this line is same. That's why it's a magic square. Okay, let's switch to the next question now. Next question number four. A rectangular sheet of paper is 12 1 by 2 centimeter long. So, a rectangular sheet hai hamare paas. Rectangular sheet hai hamare paas paper ki. And what they are giving over here basically, they are giving its length. So, length how much? 12 1 by 2 centimeter. If you convert this mixed fraction into improper fraction, you will get 12 to the 24 plus 125. So this length is 25 upon 2 centimeter. And 10 2 by 3 centimeter wide. So its ki jo breadth hai, that is giving us as 10 2 by 3 centimeter. So convert this also in uh, mixed fraction in improper fraction. So 10 3 is a 30 plus 2 is 32. So the breadth is 32 upon 3 centimeter. Okay. So now we are having length as this. This is your length and breadth as this. This is your breadth. Okay. Now find its perimeter. So we know perimeter of a rectangle. So perimeter I'm writing in short as P. So perimeter of rectangle, you just write complete word. Equals to twice of length plus breadth. This is the formula of perimeter of rectangle. So now we'll just put the values over here. 2 multiplied by L is 25 upon 2. First, you will show like this length of rectangular. The steps how you're going to write is length of rectangular sheet of paper equals to this equals to this. Then breadth of rectangular sheet of paper equals to this equals to this. So that means you have to convert mixed fraction into improper fraction. And then perimeter of rectangular sheet of paper equals to this formula twice of L plus B. Now we'll put the values. So 2 multiplied by L is 25 upon 2 plus breadth is 32 upon 3. So now this bracket is having unlike fraction. So our step would be how we can add the fractions by making the denominator the same. So what we will do, we will see the LCM of 2 and 3 and we know the LCM of 2 and 3 is 6. So our step would be make the denominator as 6 in both the cases, right? So how we are going to do so? 2 multiplied by would remain same. So 25 upon 2, 4, we are going to multiply with 3 so that we will make the denominator as 6. And 32 upon 3, 4, we will multiply with 2. Now, if you will solve it further, it would be 25, 3 is 75, 2, 3 is 6. And 32, 2 is 64, 3, 2 is 6. Now they are like fractions, we can simply add them to 75 plus 64 and remainder, sorry, and the denominator would remain same. Now it would be 2 multiplied by 139 upon 6. Now if you just check out here, this 2 and 6, they are in multiplication form. 2 is in numerator, 6 is in denominator, so we can cancel them. 2 on the 2, 2, 3 is a 6. Now again, 3 is in denominator and 139 is in numerator. So we can cancel them as well. 3 ones are 3. 3 fours are 12 means what I am doing basically. Uh, 139 co we are dividing by 3. Is it divisible or not? First check out. 3 fours are 12. 1 9 but 19 is not divisible by 3. Right? So we can't divide it. So I'll erase this part. So we'll, we are left with. this okay i'll just write whatever it is over here so we are getting this we have already cut okay now we are left with the part that is 139 upon 3 centimeters so this is our perimeter uh, of rectangular sheet but the portion was given in the form of mixed fraction 
So we have to convert it into mixed fraction form. So let's see how much it is coming. Three fours are 12, 19, three sixes are 18, one remainder. So quotient is 46, remainder is one, divisor is three. So this would be the perimeter. So you will end it like perimeter. Hence perimeter of rectangular sheet of paper is 46, one by three centimeter. So this is the way you will write. Write properly, first write the length, convert into improper fraction, write the breadth, convert into improper fraction, write the formula of perimeter of rectangular sheet, then put the values and solve properly by converting the unlike fractions into like fraction form so that we can add them. Okay, let's switch to the next question number five now. Question number five is saying that is find the perimeters of so again, you have to take the perimeter. Actually, what is the perimeter? It is the sum of all sides. So, if we sum all the sides, we will see the perimeter. This is the boundary area. So, the boundary is the perimeter. So, find the perimeters of triangle ABE. So, in this triangle ABE, what is the boundary? This is ABE. This is the boundary. This is the boundary. And this is the boundary. So, this is the boundary. तो अगर हम इन तीनों को ऐड करते हैं तो हमें इस ट्राइंगल ए बी का पैरीमीटर मिल जाएगा सो ए बी इज गिवन बी ई इज गिवन और ए ई भी दिया हुआ है तीनों दिया है हमें हमें सिंपली ऐड करना है राइट सो हाउ वी विल राइट फर्स्ट वी विल राइट द मेजरमेंट्स ए बी इक्वल्स टू फाइव बाई टू सेंटीमीटर बी ई इक्वल्स टू टू थ्री बाई फोर सेंटीमीटर कन्वर्ट इन टू इन प्रॉपर सो फोर टू द एट प्लस थ्री इलेवन इलेवन बाय फोर ए ई इक्वल्स टू थ्री थ्री बाय फाइव तो ये कितना हो जाएगा एटीन बाय फाइव सेंटीमीटर तीनों निकाल लिया अब हमें चेक करना है पैरीमीटर सो नाउ यू विल राइट पैरीमीटर इज इक्वल्स टू सम ऑफ ऑल साइड्स देन यू विल एड ऑल द थ्री साइड्स तो पैरीमीटर now you will write perimeter of triangle A, B, E, the question which is asking. Okay? So perimeter of triangle A, B, E equals to A, B plus B, E plus A, E. And then you will put the values. A, B is 5 by 2 plus B, E is 11 by 4 plus A, E is 18 by 5. So the fractions are unlike fractions convert into like fractions quickly and then add them. So quickly uh, calculate the LCM. Let's see LCM of 2, 4 and 5. 2 1s are 2, 2 2s are 4, 5 exactly same. 2 se jayega or then 5 se jayega. Right? So the LCM would be 2 2s are 4, 4 5s are 20. So you will write LCM after this LCM of 2, 4, 5 is 20. Okay, you will write like this 2 multiply 2 multiply 5, that is 20. Okay, so the next step would be I'm just erasing this quickly so that you can write the next step. So after this, basically, what we are going to write as we are getting the LCM as 20, so our motto would be making the denominators as 20, right? So the I'm writing on the top, on the right side top. So 5 by 2, we will multiply with 10 so that the denominator would become 20. 11 by 4, ko we will multiply by 5. Of course, if denominator is not going to be 20, we will multiply by 20. We will multiply by 20. 20 ban okay. okay, now this would be 50 upon 20 plus 55 upon 20 plus 72 upon 20. तीनों सेम हो गए अब आपको सिंपली डिनोमिनेटर्स ऐड करने हैं डिनोमिनेटर वुड रिमेन सेम दिस वुड बी लाइक दिस वंस वी विल ऐड इट वी विल गेट द आंसर ऑफ दिस पैरीमीटर ऑफ ट्रायंगल एबीई सो लेट्स ऐड इट 50 प्लस 55 प्लस 72 एंड वी आर गोइंग टू गेट द आंसर इज 177 अपॉन 20 but the question was given in the mixed fraction form. So, we have mixed fraction form. So, we divide it. 177 for 20. Say. So, 28 is 160. 29 is a karinga to bada ujaka. So, 28 is 160. Okay. So, it would be 17 is the remainder here. Question is 8. So, 8 is question. 17 remainder divisor was 20. So, this is your perimeter 
of triangle ABE. Now second part is perimeter of rectangle BCDE. मतलब हमें इस rectangle का perimeter निकालना है. Okay, उसके बाद हमें बताना है कौन सा greater आ रहा है, ठीक है? So इस first part का answer हमारा आ गया 817 by 20, जो कि हमारा था 177 by 20 basically, ठीक है? अब हम second part का निकालेंगे, फिर हम compare करेंगे कौन सा बड़ा है. Okay, rectangle का निकालने के लिए अभी मैंने बताया था perimeter हमें Twice into length plus breadth मतलब हमें length की जरूरत है और breadth की जरूरत है, right? So rectangle की length देख लेते हैं length और breadth given है या नहीं हमें? So length of this rectangle जो BE है वही तो CD है, right? Opposite sides are equal in rectangle और BE हमें पता है। So length of rectangle BCD you will write like length of rectangle BCD is equals to BE which is equals to 2, 3 by 4 which is equals to 11 by 4 centimeter. Then you will write at the place of length you will write breadth. So breadth of its BREA. Breadth of rectangle BCDE is equals to what's the breadth? Breadth is this, right? ED equals to ED which is equals to 7 by 6 centimeter. Now we are having breadth and length both. We will apply the formula of perimeter. Now you will write perimeter of rectangle B C D E equals to 2 multiplied by L plus B, which is 2 multiplied by L is 11 by 4 plus B is 7 by 6. Make the denominator same quickly. Take the LCM of 4 and 6. 2 to the 4, 2 3 the 6, and 2 1 the 2, 3 would remain same. Now we will divide by 3, 3 1 the 3. So the LCM would be 12, right? So we'll make that denominator as 12 now. So 11 by 4 we will multiply with 3. So second denominator 12 and 7 by 6 for 2 6. 6 to the 12 was the mother. After this we will get 33 upon 12 plus 14 upon 12 in one of the brackets. अब हम इनको सिंपली ऐड कर देंगे यहाँ पर मैं कर रही हूँ 2 मल्टीप्लाइड बाय 33 प्लस 14 अपॉन 12 नाउ दिस वुड बी 2 मल्टीप्लाइड बाय 33 प्लस 14 एंड दैट वुड गिव यू द आंसर एस 47 राइट सो विल राइट 47 अपॉन 12 नाउ देखो यहाँ पर 2 नोमिनेटर में 12 डिनोमिनेटर में है तो इनको हम कट कर सकते हैं 2 वन्स टू 2, 6 or 12, which is giving you the answer as 47 upon 6 centimeters, right? So, now we have the answer, we have the answer, 47 upon 6 is coming from the other part, and our first part is coming from the other part, 177 upon 20. So, we have to take LCM from both, because the denominator is different, so how do we know which one is big or not? Right? So, we have to check the LCM again from the other side, so let's see the LCM here. क्या LCM हमारा आएगा? Write this fraction into mixed fraction form. So 47 को जब हम six से divide करेंगे, so we'll get six seven the forty two. Five is remaining here. So the question is seven. Five remainder divisor is six. तो ये हमारा perimeter आ गया इसका rectangle का. Forty seven upon six था, जो कि हमारा है seven. Five by six, okay. अब हम दोनों में से चेक कर लेते हैं कौन सा हमारा ग्रेटर है। चल दिसे बताओ। ये the LCM of twenty and six है, because अब हमें compare करना है इन दोनों को, right? ये तो हमारे triangle का perimeter और ये है हमारा rectangle का perimeter। तो twenty और six का LCM ले लेते हैं हम, जिससे कि हम इनको like fraction में convert कर देते हैं। Two tens are और two threes are। Three से जाएगा और 10 जो है 2 और 5 से जाएगा, right? तो हमारा LCM यहाँ पर क्या आ गया? 2 से जा 6, 6 से जा 12, 12 5 से 60. तो 60 हमें LCM बनाना है, मतलब denominator 60 बनाना है। तो मैं यहीं पर ही लिख देती हूँ इसको, इसको 3 से करना पड़ेगा, 20 3 से 60, और इसको 10 से करना पड़ेगा, 6 10 से 60. तो ये हमारा, जब आप 177 को if you multiply 3, you will get 531 
और यहाँ पर आप जब फोर फोर्टी सेवन को टेन से करेंगे तो फोर सेवनटी तो आपको ऑब्वियसली दिखाई दे रहा है कि ये हमारा बड़ा है और ये किसका था ये था ट्राइंगल का राइट सो पेरीमीटर ऑफ ट्राइंगल ए बी ई इज ग्रेटर ठीक है यहाँ पर आप लिखेंगे पेरीमीटर ऑफ ट्राइंगल ए बी इज ग्रेटर क्यों आपको ये स्टेप करके दिखाना है यहाँ पर ठीक है हाउ यू विल राइट पेरीमीटर ऑफ ट्राइंगल ट्राइंगल ए बी ई इज वन सेवनटी सेवन अपन ट्वेंटी पेरीमीटर ऑफ ट्राइंगल सॉरी पेरीमीटर ऑफ रेक्टेंगल बी सी डी ई इज फोर्टी सेवन अपॉन सिक्स देन यू विल टेक एल सी एम एंड मेक द लाइक सेक्शन एंड देन यू हैव टू राइट लाइक दिस बट फाइव थर्टी वन अपॉन सिक्सटी इज ग्रेटर देन दिस सो दैट मीन्स वन सेवेंटी सेवन अपॉन ट्वेंटी इज ग्रेटर देन फोर्टी सेवन अपॉन सिक्स दैट मीन्स दिस एट सेवनटीन अपॉन ट्वेंटी इज ग्रेटर देन सेवन फाइव अपॉन सिक्स So this is the way you are going to write over there. Let's switch to the sixth question now. Okay. So that's why we directly can find out. Now, just I have shown you that which one is greater. Otherwise, when we have shown you that the perimeter of the triangle was one seventy-seven upon twenty, when we have shown you that the perimeter of the triangle was one seventy-seven upon twenty, when we have shown you that the perimeter of the triangle was one seventy-seven upon twenty, when we have shown you that the perimeter of the triangle was one seventy-seven upon twenty. तो आप सीधे सीधे होल नंबर चेक करके भी पता लगा सकते हैं इसका होल नंबर है एट तो दैट मीन्स इसका आंसर एट पॉइंट समथिंग होगा एट डेसिमल समथिंग तो इसका होल नंबर है सेवन तो इसका आंसर सेवन डेसिमल समथिंग होगा दैट मीन्स एट डेसिमल इज ग्रेटर देन सेवन डेसिमल राइट तो यहाँ से भी हम डायरेक्टली कह सकते हैं कि ए बी ई का जो पेरीमीटर है वो ग्रेटर है ओके okay, चलो नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन करते हैं क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स इज सलीम वॉन्ट्स टू Put a picture in a frame. The picture is seven three by five centimeter wide. So Salil, जो है एक picture है उसके पास जो मैं यहाँ पर एक बना देती हूँ ऐसे रफ में. Suppose ये उसके पास एक picture है जो कि इतनी चौड़ी है. Means seven three by five जो है उसकी इतनी बड़ी picture है वो. So I'm just writing it over here. इतनी बड़ी ये picture है जो Salil के पास है. That means इसको अगर हम extraction को improper में convert करते हैं, so we'll get like five seven to thirty five or thirty five plus three is thirty eight. So the picture जो है वो thirty eight by five centimeter wide है. उसके बाद बोला है to fit in the frame. अब इस पिक्चर को फ्रेम में लगाना है हम कोई भी पिक्चर लाते हैं तो उसको फ्रेम के अंदर लगाते हैं जिससे कि हम डिस्प्ले कर सके तो हमारा जो फ्रेम है वो जो है इतना ही है मीन सेवन थ्री बाई टेन सेंटीमीटर वाइड है तो जो पिक्चर है वो ऑब्वियसली फ्रेम से छोटी होनी चाहिए सपोज ये आपका फ्रेम है ये आपका फ्रेम है सपोज तो अभी हमें ये वाली पिक्चर जो है इसके अंदर अगर डालनी है तो ये पिक्चर इससे छोटी होनी चाहिए तभी आएगी राइट सो पिक्चर छोटी होनी चाहिए बट ये पिक्चर एक्चुअल में बड़ी है तो पूछा क्या क्या है हाउ मच शुड द पिक्चर बी ट्रिम पिक्चर को कितना काटे कि वो फ्रेम के अंदर सेट हो जाए ये फ्रेम है इसके अंदर हमें एक पिक्चर लगानी है पिक्चर जो है फ्रेम के साइज से बड़ी है पूछा क्या गया है इस पिक्चर को कितना ट्रिम करें कितना काट दें कि वो पिक्चर जो है इस फ्रेम के अंदर सेट हो जाए ये हमारा क्वेश्चन है तो अब करना क्या है इसमें लिखना कैसे है लेट्सी दिस पार्ट तो वट वी विल राइट We'll write like width of picture equals to seven three by five centimeter. You may check here, right? And that is thirty eight upon five centimeter. Then we will write width of frame. So frame is this much, seven three by ten centimeter wide. It's written here, right? So and that is seven tens of seventy plus three seventy three by ten centimeter. अब हमें picture trimmed निकालना है तो what we will uh, do basically width of picture we are having width of frame we are having. Now picture should be trimmed from the statement only. Picture should be trimmed equals to अच्छा जनरली फ्रेम हमारा जो है बड़ा है होता है पिक्चर से बट यहाँ पर जो है पिक्चर का साइज फ्रेम से बढ़ा दिया हुआ है तभी तो पूछा गया कि कितना कटेगा 
सो बेसिकली पिक्चर के विट में से हमें फ्रेम माइन फ्रेम का विट माइनस करना है तभी हमें पता चलेगा कि पिक्चर को कितना कट करना है सो वट वी विल डू विथ ऑफ पिक्चर माइनस विथ ऑफ फ्रेम अगर आपको कुछ कंफ्यूजन है कि किसमें से किसको करना है तो आपके लिए इजी तरीका क्या है कि आप पहले ही इन दोनों फ्रैक्शन को लाइक फ्रैक्शन में बना के चेक कर लो अगर आप ये विथ ऑफ पिक्चर और विथ ऑफ फ्रेम देखेंगे तो डिनोमिनेटर्स आर डिफरेंट सो दे आर अनलाइक फ्रैक्शन तो हम इनको सेम बना लेते हैं So we'll take the the LCM of 5 and 10. So you have LCM linge, 5 and 10 10. and and you will get the LCM as 10 only. आपको करके दिखा देती हूँ और ये हो जाएगा टू से तो टेन आपका एलसीएम आएगा इसका मतलब आपको जो डिनोमिनेटर है वो टेन बना जाए सो दिस वी विल मेक टेन बाई मल्टीप्लाइंग इट विथ टू तो ये हमारा है सेवनटी सिक्स अपॉन टेन सेंटीमीटर और ये है सेवनटी थ्री अपॉन टेन तो आपको ऑब्वियसली नजर आ रहा है पिक्चर वाला जो है वो बड़ा है राइट सो पिक्चर के विथ में से फ्रेम का माइनस करेंगे सो नाउ वी विल डू सेवेंटी सिक्स अपॉन टेन माइनस सेवेंटी थ्री अपॉन टेन विच इज इक्व टू थ्री अपॉन टेन सेंटीमीटर दैट मीन्स हमें कितनी पिक्चर ट्रेम करनी है थ्री अपॉन टेन सेंटीमीटर पिक्चर शुड बी ट्रेम सो दिस इज अबाउट क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स लेट स्विच टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन सेवन क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन ऋतु एट थ्री बाई फाइव पार्ट ऑफ एन एप्पल जब ऋतु ने थ्री फिफ्थ पार्ट जो है एक एप्पल का खा लिया है कितने एप्पल का एन एप्पल इज रिटर्न दैट मीन्स एक एप्पल का यू कैन चेक हेयर एन एप्पल एक एप्पल का थ्री फिफ्थ पार्ट जो है वो खा लिया है एंड द रिमेनिंग बचा हुआ जो एप्पल है वॉज ईटन बाय हर ब्रदर सोमू सो बचा हुआ एप्पल जो है उसके भाई सोमू ने खा लिया है तो ऋतु ने थ्री बाय फाइव पार्ट खाया और सोमू ने बचा हुआ पार्ट खाया How much part of the apple did Somu eat? मतलब जो बचा हुआ पार्ट था वो कितना था एक्चुअल में जो सोमो ने खाया सो हाउ वी आर गोइंग टू राइट होल पार्ट ऑफ एन एप्पल इक्वस टू वन वाई आई एम राइटिंग वन क्योंकि एप्पल तो एक ही है ना तो होल जो है हमने वन माना है एप्पल ईटन बाय Now the next line would be apple apple eaten by Ritu equals to three by five. Remaining part of apple eaten by Somu equals to one minus three by five. Because whole me se. जो खा लिया है अगर हम वो माइनस करें तो बच्चा हुआ निकल जाएगा सो वेन वी विल सब्रैक्टेड विल गेट द आंसर एज टू बाई फाइव कैसे आया देखो वन को वी कैन राइट एज वन अपॉन वन तो आप एलसीएम लेंगे तो फाइव ही होगा इसको फाइव कैसे बनाएंगे इसको फाइव फाइव से मल्टीप्लाई करके बनाएंगे तो आप नेक्स्ट स्टेप में करना मल्टीप्लाई तो ये हमारा हो जाएगा फाइव अपॉन फाइव माइनस थ्री अपॉन फाइव तो यहाँ पर आ जाएगा फाइव माइनस थ्री और टू अपॉन फाइव ठीक है तो आपको ये प्रॉपरली स्टेप बाय स्टेप करना है लाइक दिस फिर आपको ये फाइव से मल्टीप्लाई कर देना है एंड देन यू विल डू लाइक दिस ओके सो टू बाय फाइव पार्ट जो है सोमो ने खा लिया है नाउ व्हाट दे आर आस्किंग द नेक्स्ट पार्ट नेक्स्ट पार्ट इज हु हैड द लार्जर शेयर किसने ज्यादा पार्ट खाया किसको ज्यादा एप्पल मिला हु हैड द लार्जर शेयर सो ऋतु के पास जो है शेयर कितना है That is थ्री बाय फाइव मतलब थ्री फिफ्थ पोर्शन खाया अगर मैं एक आपको एक सर्कल बना के दिखाती हूँ इसमें अगर हम पांच पार्ट कर दें ठीक है आई ड्रॉ द पार्ट रफली हेयर दे कैन बी इक्वल एंड अन इक्वल बिकॉज आई एम मेकिंग अ रफ काइंड ऑफ फिगर हेयर ओके इफ वी चेक हेयर वी आर हैविंग फाइव पार्ट ओके डोंट कंसिडर लाइक कि ये इक्वल नहीं है करके वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव जस्ट फॉर योर अंडरस्टैंडिंग नाउ थ्री फिफ्थ पार्ट जो है उसने खा लिया ये जो है ऋतु ने खाया तो ज्यादा एप्पल ऋतु ने खा लिया राइट right? और थोड़ा सा एप्पल जो है सोमो ने खाया तो थ्री फिफ्थ पार्ट मीन्स द लार्जर पोर्शन इटन बाय ऋतु राइट सो हाउ यू आर गोइंग टू राइट दिस पार्ट बेसिकली विल राइट लाइक Who had the larger share? Ritu had the larger share. By how much? Ritu had the larger share by 
3 by 5 minus 2 by 5 that is 1 by 5. So what does it mean basically? सबसे पहले तो आपको बताया गया है कि रितु ने कितना part apple का खाया एक apple का और बचा हुआ जो है वो सोमु ने खाया तो बचा हुआ कितना था? वो हमने निकाल दिया one में से minus करके why we are subtracting from one क्योंकि whole जो है एक one होता है एक ही apple था तो हमने remaining निकाल दिया सोमु का अब किसने ज़्यादा खाया तो रितु ने खाया obviously पांच में से उसने तीन part खाए और सोमु ने पांच में से दो part खाए तो तीन part जिसने खाया उसने ज़्यादा खाया कितना ज़्यादा खाया तीन part रितु ने खाए सोमु ने दो part खाए तो obviously एक part ज़्यादा खाया तो one by five तो ये निकालेंगे कैसे रितु had the larger share by subtract करके ठीक है now the last question of this exercise Last question is Michael finished coloring a picture in seven by twelve hour. Michael ने एक picture color करना finish किया इतने घंटे में. Webber finished coloring the same picture. उसी picture को Webber ने भी color किया और उसने finish किया three by four hour में. Who worked longer? किसने ज़्यादा काम किया? By what fraction was it longer? कितना ज़्यादा काम किया? तो जब भी आपको by what fraction, by how much इस तरह के क्वेश्चन पूछे जाए कितना ज़्यादा है, कितना कम है करके तो आपको subtraction करनी है। अब लिखेंगे कैसे? Michael finished coloring a picture in this these many hours जो भी दिया है। Then you will write Weber finished coloring the same picture in this। So ये दोनों लाइन पहले आपको लिख देनी है। उसके बाद you will write uh, about who worked longer. Okay. So now you have to subtract both 7 by 12 minus 3 by 4. Okay. So before subtracting now, what you are going to do, we will convert the light so that you can recognize this key fraction. Okay. So when you have written here, Michael finished coloring the picture in 7 by 12 hour, or whoever finished coloring the same picture in 3 by 4 hour, so here both the fractions are unlike fractions, so we will make them into like fractions. So we will take LCM of 4 and 12. So when you will take LCM of 4 and 12, now you will get the LCM as 12 only. So let's see how. You will check out here. 4 is the 12. So here the 12 crowded denominator and we will make the denominator 12. So we will multiply it with 3. So this, the coloring, the same picture by Baba is basically in 9 by 12. So, you can see here and see that you can tell that who worked longer. Michael has worked for 7 by 12 hours. And Webber has 9 by 12. So, 9 is greater than 7. So, Webber worked longer. So, after these two lines, you will write that Webber worked longer. By how much? Webber worked longer by कितना उसको माइनस करके निकाल लेंगे नाइन बाय ट्वेल माइनस सेवन बाय ट्वेल डेट इस टू बाय ट्वेल कट सकते हैं दोनों काट देते हैं टू वन जो टू टू सिक्स जो ट्वेल सो इट वुड बी वन बाय सिक्स आर ठीक है सो दिस वुड बी द आंसर ऑफ दिस एट क्वेश्चन जब भी आपसे इस तरह से पूछा जाए कितना so this is about exercise 2.1. I hope this is clear. If any doubts, you may ask me by writing in the comment section as well. Like, share and subscribe my channel. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.